Okay, so those are our um, time exports. Now, the other thing that I haven't mentioned on the timesheet is each one of these has a timesheet status. And when it comes to signing a timesheet, it's, it's a two-step process in CalCats. The first is, as the employee, I need to say I'm done with my timesheet and kick it into, into review status. Okay, so once I've kicked my timesheet into review status, I, I can no longer edit this timesheet. So if I try and add hours here, I'm punching my keyboard, but nothing's happening. Um, because this is now locked to me, because I've sent this to my supervisor and said, hey, this is ready for your review. Yeah, this is pretty familiar from uh, CalPeats. You got it, yep. And then if I look under my admin menu, I've got a timesheet review screen where I will see my timesheet and any employees who I supervise will show up in here where I can go and view or approve their time card. Okay, so I can hit view here and it will take me to that time card and I can look at where all the time is. Um, if I need to see some details, for example, what's this pesticide activity here? It would show me what, you know, the details of what those rows are. But again, I can't make any changes here because I'm, I'm just the supervisor. I don't own this timesheet. If it looks fine, if the hours entered meet the hours expected, I can hit approve and that will go into approved status. Um, and eventually you want all of these timesheets to be in approved status before you're running your AFS or your um, weight to measure CMRs or printing them out, you know, to be sort of submitted and, and sent into payroll or whatever. All right, so can, can I just clarify something and Barry, you, you need to perk your ears up on this one is, um, so what you're saying is when the supervisor, the commissioner or whatever, goes in and looks at those timesheets and let's say that they put their time under sick time and it should have been under COVID time, or they put it under pest management and it should have been under pest eradication. Rather than just fix their timesheet for them, essentially they're gonna to have to notify the employee to go back and fix it. That we can't just fix their stuff for them. They have to be the one that goes in and fixes it. Is that what you're telling me? Not necessarily true, no. Um, oh, all right, too bad. I, that would have been nice, but uh, yeah. I could see instances where it's a simple change that you just wanna change it. Right. Um, right. So, in general, in the normal workflow of the program, you cannot edit somebody else's timesheet, no matter who you are. But realizing that sometimes an employee is out on vacation, out on sick leave, and you need to get their timesheet approved, you've talked to them, they agree with the change, you can um, assume another user's ah, identity. I saw that the other day. Yes. Ah, I love this. Okay, so this, this brings up essentially a point that I was thinking of. So. We had an employee, Brian Snodgrass, that just, he moved to LA, right? Mm -hmm. And so he no longer works for us. I have not processed his timesheets yet because I am a month behind. And so, you know, he's already gone, right? Yep. And so if he made an error, he put the wrong number in, and I want to be like, no, 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 he only put in 74 hours. He needs 80 hours for that. I need to go in and retroactively fix that so that he gets paid the correct amount, I'm able to do that by assuming his identity is gonna be the best way to do that? Yep. Okay, Just that, the, uh, that makes I'm, perfect sense. I'm logged in as supervisor one. I'm gonna set supervisor two as my supervisor. And now I'm gonna log out with supervisor one and log in as supervisor two. And now when I go to timesheet review, I'll see I've got supervisor one's time card. Okay, it's sitting there. It's, you know, in progress. Now, supervisor one's out, you know, on vacation or sick or whatever. I need to go stick this into review and then approve it. So uh, actually, before I do that, let me go to this timesheet. Timesheet's locked. I've got a little header here. It says you're looking at supervisor one's timesheet but I can't make any changes here. But if I need to make changes here, I can say, let me log in as supervisor one. So now you'll see, you know, up in here, it's 
highlighted in red. It says I'm supervisor one. That's an assumed identity. And now I can go to that timesheet. And I can actually make changes here. So if this three and a half was in vacation and it was supposed to be in a different category, I can move that to a different category. So let's say that's long. Let's go down here. 3.5. Stick that back into review. Now it's good to go. That makes perfect sense. Thank you. Now I can resume my identity, go back to my timesheet review, and now I can approve that timesheet. So that, that's how we implemented that. It's useful for a whole bunch of different things, but that's sort of one of the one of the main reasons. But that's the process of um, you know, having an employee sign a timesheet is they same way in Calpeats, they kick it up to their supervisor, then their supervisor approves it or kicks it back down to them and says, you've got to make some changes. Um, and then that timesheet's an approved status and it, you know, it's considered final. Yeah, I agree. 90% of the time, we're going to want them to fix their own mistakes, but there will be times, you know, somebody goes out on, you know, if somebody like Barry were to go to lunch today and get a COVID-19 test, we would not allow him to come back to the office. Yep. Once he tests positive for COVID-19, he is required to disappear for two weeks yep. and to get a positive, I mean, a negative test before he's allowed to come back to work. In which case, during that two weeks, someone needs to be doing his timesheet, and that would be me. Right. Um, and he wouldn't, he wouldn't be able to do that. So just as long as there is some kind of a functionality where someone's able to assume that, um, then I think that that's going to work out just fine. 